My name is Joe from HikeArizona.com. I am going to try and explain uh, GPS routes. Um, a GPS route is a collection of waypoints, tracks, and routes. Um, some people want to know what is the difference, especially between tracks and routes. It can get a little confusing. So that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to start off and I'm going to go to Basecamp, which is a Garmin product and I'm going to create a new list and I'm going to call it waypoints tracks and route and in that I'm going to import a file into waypoints tracks and route I'm going to import a GPX file that I created as an example to hopefully explain this okay so it is loaded First, we are going to take a look at a uh, couple things on here. The first thing we're going to look at is a route, which is this purple line. Um, a route is a series of waypoints. So you have these waypoints, for instance, you have your trailhead, your peak, alternative trailhead. Those are called waypoints. Um, for To maybe clarify here, let's call those independent waypoints. Whereas a track is a series of waypoints um, that would represent a route. And in this case, it would be the driving route to the trailhead. Then the actual trail is going to be a track. And when I click on that, see all those little tiny dots? Each one of those is what's called a track point, And it's going to have a whole bunch of them. A route has route points. And what are route points? Route points are essentially waypoints because it's a series of waypoints. Um, a route, let's, let's, let's go and talk about uh, a Garmin product like the Oregon. Um, it will accept 250 route points, but a track, it will accept 10,000. So a route is intended to be for major turns. A track is intended to be very precise. Each little curve in the trail, for instance, when you're hiking. Okay, so that's the overview right there. Let's go to Hike Arizona, and I'm going to click on Map, which will take me to my map, and then I will click on the Route Manager tab. Uh, in Route Manager, I'm going to load this exact same file, the route example. And we're going to see how that looks in Route Manager. OK, so it's loaded here into Route Manager on Hike Arizona. <laughs> and the difference, a little difference we're going to first note is we don't see those little flags that we saw in Basecamp. Well, in Route Manager, it doesn't currently display the symbols yet. Um, the way that you're going to know the difference is over here, when I highlight it, it says Route. The other ones say Track, Track, Track. OK. So um, once again, your route is going to be kind of a skeleton type of object just where your turns are. As you can see there are nine points of data in it. This track over here on the other hand has 308 points and it's only two miles. Can you imagine if you went on a 20 mile hike? You might have five to ten thousand points of data. You would not want ten thousand flags on your GPS unit because you just couldn't see anything else. It would be confusing, right? So, if you have a route, you could change it over from a route. What, wait, what I do in Route Manager is I click on the line. I could change it from a route to a track. Um, let's go into some information on this. And if I click on this, it's going to take me to this information screen. <coughs> and as we noted, um, in Route Manager, it's going to tell you whether it's a route or a track over by the number. Um, 
we started off with the anatomy of GPX files. Uh, they're called GPS routes. GPX is the most popular file format and that's why we're going over that specifically. And this is right from the definitions of a GPX file. It says, a waypoint is a point of interest or a named feature on a map. So we have our waypoints here. We have our four symbols for example. Then it says a track is an ordered list of points describing a path. So you can see this one mile track here could be up to let's say 3,000 points. It's probably not going to be that many, but that's just an example. Um, the example is is that waypoints over here, we have four objects. The track, it's one object on the map. Okay, a route is an ordered list of waypoints representing a series of turn points leading to a destination. So, you wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't have a hiking trail be a route because every little tiny turn, you don't need to be informed of it. You need to be informed of major junctions and major turns. And it would look more like this. A route would be, boom, your parking, your first point of interest, your summit, then your campsite you really would not use this for a hiking trail. I just put this up here as an example. A route would be more used for a drive. Where you drive 100 miles on a highway and then you get off on an exit, then you would want that uh, waypoint on a route. And as we mentioned, a, a drive or a route is gonna have very few points. Remember a Garmin unit will only hold up to 250 points of data in a route. This drive has nine points. The trail has 308 points because it's going to be more intense. Okay, so with that in mind, let's talk a little bit about routes on Route Manager. Um, each route point will not display a tiny icon as in, ba as in Basecamp. So we're not going to see the uh, symbols on this route as we do in Basecamp. Not yet, maybe someday. Name, comment, and symbol are not editable in, in route points. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm using it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, you can't edit it yet. Uh, maybe someday. Uh, routes will always come before tracks after saving, and that is a standard GPS property. So let's go back here. As you can see, the route is on top. All routes must be above tracks. If I move, if I change the order, and I move this route down here, so now I have tracks above it, and I go to download, boom, I'm going to get this warning thing that tells me that I need to reorder this, and I need to put the route up top. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put the route back up on top, and will it let me download now? Yes, it's asking me how I want to download. So routes will always come before tracks. Splitting a route. If you split a route, if I was to click here and then click on split, each side will be a route. So let's give that a try. Let's go ahead and split it. Okay, we have our drive, and then we have our split over here is also a drive, and you can see each is a route. Joining a route in a track, the first selected item, more or less, becomes parent. So, let's go over here, and if I joined these two, I have a route, and I have a track. The first one I select is going to become the parent. I'm going to go with the track. I'm going to click track and I'm going to join it to this route. And what's going to be parent? The track because it came first. And as we can see, this whole thing is now a track. Now, when you convert a route to a track, you're going to lose data. You're going to lose 
these symbols. If these were special symbols with special names, like this might be, at the end, might be a house, and say Joe's house. Um, this might be a turn icon. I've never seen that, but let's say it is. <laughs> and then in the name field it says turn left off freeway. You would lose that when you convert it to a track. Well, let's go over the anatomy of a GPX file, which is where we started. So now we have all that information that we just learned, so maybe this will make sense now. I have three files here. I have a waypoint file, a track file, and a route file. The waypoint file, well, each file has four points of data. This waypoint file, this is the first point of data. It is a waypoint. A waypoint has latitude, longitude, and elevation. It also has a name and the symbol, the parking area symbol. And then we have three other ones. Let's move on down to track. Remember, a track is a real efficient item. All it is is latitude, longitude, and elevation. Boom, that's it. Let's go to a GPS route. Remember what a route is? A route is a series of waypoints. So this looks a lot like a waypoint file. It has latitude. It has latitude, longitude, elevation, name, and symbol, parking area. So what is the difference between a track and a route? A track does not have a name and a symbol because it does not have an icon for each point of data. If you have any more questions, um, please feel free to ask. I hope that helps clarify the differences uh, between waypoints, tracks, and routes.